So last year I posted a video of a Karen throwing a fishing pole in the water and the video blew up and became one of the biggest Karen fishing videos on YouTube. This is one of the most famous fishing Karen breakdowns of all time where a Karen throws a man's fishing rod into the water. Most likely the biggest Karen video on YouTube. If you look up Karen freakout on YouTube and filter it by views, bam, there it is, the first one. I'm even over PewDiePie. What? How? <laughs> So I posted this video 14 months ago and it's about to hit 10 million views, which is crazy. It has 178,000 likes and 27,000 comments and the comment I see the most is can we get an update? Update. Update please. Update, 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 update. So today I'm going to be giving an update. Check out that catfish. So first off, I want to start this video by saying this is not a Karen YouTube channel, alright? From my last video, I got a bunch of new subscribers and they're all like, where's the Karen videos? Where are they at? And I'm going to say it now. There's not going to be any now and there's not going to be any in the future. So uh, if you're looking for Karen videos, this is not the place for it. I am a fishing YouTuber. I travel around and make fishing videos. So if you like fishing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So on this day, we were doing some fishing, filming a video, but the fishing was horrible. We did not catch anything, and at this time, I was on a daily upload schedule where I was uploading videos every single day. And uh, since the fishing was crap, I had no footage to upload besides the Karen drama. So I edited the Karen video, and it was a throwaway video. I didn't even want to upload it. I was not very happy with it. It was just a video I threw up because I had to keep that daily schedule. So I threw it up and uploaded it, and it freaking took off. So on the first day, it got a thousand views, which is more than normal. And I was like, okay, maybe this is going to do something here. And uh, on the second day, it just kept getting more and more views. The third day, every day that passed, there's more and more views. It just kept growing and growing, and it was insane. I think like one day, I got like 200,000 views, and it just did that for a week straight. 200,000 views, 200,000 views, 200,000 views, and it was just insane. I only had like 15,000 subscribers at the time, so that many views was unheard of. So the video made its rounds, and even Juke Squad used it in one of his videos. I've been watching him for years, so that was crazy. All my friends texted me and sent me the link saying I was in his video. I never expected the video to blow up like it did, but it did. So there is the backstory of the video and why I made it, so let's go ahead and talk about what happened to the Karens. First off, did the Karens see the video? And the answer is yes, they definitely saw it. When I made this video, I shared it to a public Facebook page of this lake. This is Lake Meredith. I shared it on the public page and it went crazy. Everyone started watching it and sharing it and it was all over Facebook. So uh, once that happened, I actually had multiple people message me on Facebook and tell me exactly who these people were. And I even got a bunch of stories about the Tan Karen. Apparently the Tan Karen does this all the time. No one likes her because she is always creating problems. Everyone at her job hates her because she's always doing stuff like this. But I actually got a video that I'm gonna show at the end of this video. It is Tan Karen getting kicked off an airplane. And this happened just last week, which is crazy. I was really hoping that they would learn their lesson from this video and 10 million people viewing them, having a little hissy fit over this fishing pole, but uh, I guess not. I guess they didn't learn their lesson, but uh, I will play that video at the end of this video. So don't skip forward or anything because you're gonna miss out on a bunch of information, but uh, it will be there at the end of this video, so. It's getting windy. I may have to move this to inside the truck. We're gonna lose the cool backdrop of the lake. By the way, this is Lake Meredith where the Karen incident happened. You can't see the boat ramp, but the boat ramp is right there. And that is where the Karen situation happened. I will be over there, but uh, there's a million people over there. It's Sunday, it's a weekend. There's a crap ton of people. And I don't wanna be bothered. <laughs> Too many people recognize me on that dock now. 10 million views, that goes a very long way. Hmm, good audio or cool backdrop? I think I have to go with good audio. Did the Karens try to take the video down? Yes, yes they did. At around 5 million views, I got an email from YouTube and it was a privacy complaint. And uh, I guess one of the Karens 
complained about privacy. So I got an email that said I have 48 hours to go through the entire video and take out anything that would identify the Karens. So that's what I did. I went through the entire video and the only thing that I took out was like a four second shot of their license plate. That's the only thing I took out. I was still a little scared because this video was getting views like crazy. It was at 5 million views. It was my biggest video on YouTube and I was getting threats that it was going to get taken down. So I was a little scared but uh, after 48 hours I heard nothing about it. The video never got taken down so uh, I guess it was good. YouTube didn't want to take it down either because it was making them a lot of money as well I'm sure. But uh, yeah 5 million views, I got a privacy complaint and that was it and nothing since. But the fact that I got a privacy complaint tells me that they definitely seen the video. Has the Karens tried to contact me? No. Thankfully. <laughs> but the old man that lost his poll did. And his family did too. I think the video was at like 3 or 4 million views. And uh, maybe 7 million. I don't know. It took a while for them to find it. But they all found the video. And they all messaged me on Facebook thanking me and everything. Thanking for helping them out. And all that stuff and they thought it was really cool that he was in the video with that many views which that's pretty cool so I want to go ahead and clear up a few comments that I kept seeing over and over again first one is the old man said that the reel cost $200 and then later on in the video he switched it up and said that it all cost $400 so everyone was like oh he raised the price once he knew that he could get paid back for it or whatever but that wasn't the case what happened was is he said $200 reel. Just a reel by itself was $200. And then later on in the video, when he's saying $400, he's talking about the entire combo. So the reel and the rod was $400. So that it was a big confusion with a lot of people. But that's what he meant. The next comment that I got was the park ranger kept repeating himself. And he was but the old man was not listening at all like he all he cared about was fishing he just wanted to get his poles rigged up and in the water and that's what he was doing the entire time the park ranger was talking to him and explaining everything i try to cut out the parts where the old man wasn't paying attention at all just to make him look better but uh all it did was made the park ranger look like he was repeating himself when really he had to because the old man was not paying attention at all i thought it was hilarious myself but uh I don't know, I just tried to make the guy look better by not showing that he wasn't listening because <laughs> he wasn't. The next comment I got a lot was, doesn't she know intimidating a witness is a felony? After the incident happened, the lady came back down and talked to me and filmed me and all this stuff. And yeah, apparently that's intimidating a witness. And I even got a comment from a lawyer and he gave out every single law that this lady broke. And he wrote down all the codes to the law and explained the law perfectly. It was so freaking funny. There was probably like 10 laws that she broke in that video that this guy explained. Awesome comment. I will try to find that, but uh, no promises. It was a long time ago when I first uploaded the video, but uh, I will try my best to find it. If I find it, there it is. But there were so many funny comments on this video. People just bashing these Karens so hard. I was cracking. I am still am cracking up. I still get funny comments to this day. It's just so freaking funny. If you guys want to laugh, go back to that Karen video. The link will be in the description. And just go read the comments, man. They are so freaking funny. All right, let's go ahead and answer the one question that everyone wants to know. What happened to the Karens? Did they have to pay for the man's rod? And did the case go to court? Well, sadly, I don't know. It hasn't happened yet. This is why I haven't posted a video on this update just yet. It's been a whole year since that video and I haven't got an update yet. So I don't know. But don't click away from this video just yet because I do have way more information to tell. So another comment that I got a lot was why don't y'all just jump in and dive down to the fishing pole. Well where it fell in it was 30 feet deep and I can't dive down 30 feet. I would love to see someone that can. I know I can't but a scuba diver can. So a scuba diver contacted me, Z Cook Z. He messaged me and said that he would love to come down and try to find the fishing pole. So uh, that's what we did. We, he came down, gave it his best. He jumped in the freezing cold water and tried looking for it. And guys, this is what he saw. This is how dark and murky this water is. It, you cannot see anything. So there's no chance at all you're going to be diving into 35 feet of water and finding a fishing pole. There's just, there's no chance. He couldn't find it with his scuba tank and all his gear. So you're definitely not going to find it just jumping in. But that is why we did not jump in after the rod in 35 feet of water. That comment felt so stupid to me, but I guess some people didn't know that it was that deep right there off the docks. We close these windows. The wind's picking up even more. 
So I filmed that entire process of him coming down and scuba diving the lake and trying to find the fishing pole. Unfortunately, he didn't find it. So three days after posting that video, I actually got a knock on the door and it was a game warden from the very first Karen video. The same one, same guy. I have not seen this guy since I posted that video and I was like, oh crap, I'm in trouble. So uh, first thing he said was I wasn't in trouble, everything's okay. And I was like, oh, thank you Lord. But he, uh, I put like 10 to 15 seconds of drone footage in the video of the scuba diver and this is a national park, so you cannot fly a drone in national parks. So we said that the video can stay up, but the drone shots have to get out of the video. So I took the video down, re-edited it, took out the drone shots, and put it back up. But uh, yeah, I was like, oh god, this sucks. I'm in trouble. But uh, everything was fine. But he was a cool dude. He said that the guy above him wanted to give me a ticket for using the drone, which is stupid because people use drones out here all the time. There's videos of it on YouTube. But... He was scared that my video was going to blow up again and get millions of views. But uh, that's why he was so worried about it. But he would not give me a ticket, he said. So I'm stoked about that. And the park ranger was actually stoked to be in the video as well. He said that he's been getting a bunch of people recognizing him from the video. And he loves it. So uh, pretty cool dude. He actually invited me out to go hunting with him. So that's cool. So while we were talking, I asked him about the update. I've been getting thousands and thousands of comments of people asking me for an update. So I was like, okay, this is my chance. I'm going to ask him what happened to the case if he has an update for me. And all he said was that the case hasn't even been ran yet. The judge that is doing all the paperwork, he's about to retire and he's taking his sweet time to do any paperwork right now and that is why it's taking forever. He said that once they do run the case, I will most likely be getting a call and then going to court as a witness and all this stuff. But uh, yeah, it's the judge's fault. Nothing's happened yet. We've been waiting. I've been waiting for an update for almost a year now and then I find out that it's all because a judge is about to retire and he doesn't want to do his job. So... I'm sorry, that kind of sucks. Um, that's a horrible update. But uh, if anything happens, once I finally get that call, I will be making another update for you guys to tell you what has happened with the case. All right, guys, so that is the update. I'm sorry if it sucked. I blame the judge. So I figured I would give y'all something. I gave y'all all the information I know at the time. But, uh, you know, I figured it was time. The video has been out for a year. It's about to hit 10 million views on YouTube, which is freaking nuts, man. 10 million views, that's crazy. So do I have any last words for these Karens? And uh, no, I really don't. I don't have any hate for them or anything. I don't wish any bad on anyone. So I just hope that these Karens learn their lesson. I hope that 10 million people watching them taught them how to control their anger and to treat people better. That's the only thing I really hope for these Karens. Uh, I actually went to the one lady's Facebook page and she looked completely different. She looked like a nice lady. She had a nice family. Uh, so, I mean, I haven't heard much about her, so I hope she's doing good. But the Tan Karen, I have no remorse at all for the Tan Karen. In fact, this last week, she just got kicked off an airplane. So, uh, I don't think she learned her lesson and I think she's still treating people horrible. So, uh, she posted this video on her Facebook a week ago from when I'm filming this and it's her and her family getting kicked off an airplane so I don't know this whole story I wasn't there I don't know if it's good or bad for her or what if it was her fault but uh I've been on a lot of airplanes and it's pretty easy to not get kicked off an airplane you have to really cross a line to get kicked off an airplane so uh she had to do something but uh here's the video but guys that's gonna be it for this video guys once again i'm a fishing youtuber i catch a bunch of fish bass you name it if you want to check out my videos go check them out subscribe that would be awesome also if you want to get some awesome fishing gear okumafishingusa.com that's the place to go but guys i hope you all enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will catch y'all in the next one peace check everybody else too no, well, I'm check on you. that's my job is to check we well, check everybody else on the plane yeah but it's everybody else you tell them to do something they'll do it and that's it but you all we had to keep coming back you Except said on one thing to me one and that was right here how many times you said that like and, and worry, that's fine we got everything on paper and we've so got everything on video too you do it you do it because this little boy is stood right here. Breaking the rules. Okay. We got rules okay. y'all gotta follow and you don't want to follow them. Okay, so where's your policy for special ed kids too? Where is it? I don't have it. <laughs> That's what I thought. They'll handle that. That's what I thought. Because you didn't say anything anyway. Didn't have well, to. See? Your attitude is awful. Well, you, well, I'm sorry you don't like it. And you did it to this one too. 
and you're not going to threaten our children. You're not. They do, and their masks fall no, down. Don't. Your mask isn't over your nose either. Not now. No. Oh, no. so it's just whenever you want to do it? No, it's when you, when you all are doing right. So why is yours? No, yours isn't over your mouth. Mine comes down like everybody else's, but every time Mine we turn around, too. yeah, right. I you talked to me one time. Right. One time. One time. And I put it up. And you were sitting there with two drinks. Look, we see this all the time. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.